Dear students, in this topic we shall discuss the gastrointestinal secretions. The gastrointestinal secretions include both endocrine as well as exocrine secretions. Alimentary canal is generally described as the largest endocrine and exocrine gland of the body. First we shall discuss the endocrine secretions of gastrointestinal tract. The gastrointestinal tract has many enteroendocrine cells which are spread throughout the digestive tract for example in the stomach, in the pancreas and in the small intestine which produce various hormones. The enteroendocrine cells produce gastrointestinal hormones which are liberated directly into the bloodstream. These hormones are related to the functions of gastrointestinal tract so they act on the tissues of gastrointestinal tract or gut and control various functions related to the digestion or absorption of food. The various gastrointestinal hormones include castrine, cholecystokinin, secretin, glucagon, vasoactive intestinal peptide VIP, gastric inhibitory peptide GIP, somatostatin, motilin and substance P. In ke ilawa ek or hormone ghrelin hai which is a peptide hormone and is released from liver and stomach. This hormone is known as or referred to as hunger hormone. Jo fasting individuals hote hain un mein is hormone ki zyada quantity ya level paya jata hai. Dear students, now we shall discuss the exocrine secretions of the gastrointestinal tract. The exocrine tissues which produce exocrine secretions include salivary glands, many secretory cells of stomach and intestinal epithelium, the secretory cells of liver and pancreas. The human gastrointestinal tract secretes about 7 liters of exocrine fluids in a day. These exocrine secretions have varied compositions but all have some basic components that is most of them contain enzymes, all of them contain huge quantities of water mucus, inorganic ions or salts and various ions. Now we shall discuss the digestive enzymes which are present in the exocrine secretions. These enzymes belong to three major categories. These enzymes may be proteases or carbohydrases and our lipases. These three categories correspond to the three major types of foodstuffs which require hydrolysis or breakdown. In teen major categories ke ilawa, there are certain specialized enzymes found in some exocrine secretions. They break or digest specific components of the food. For example, enzymes for hydrolysis of nucleic acids and nucleic acid residues. These enzymes are nucleases, 
न्यूक्लियोटाइडेजेस एंड न्यूक्लियोसाइडेजेस इसके अलावा जो अदर स्पेशल इंजाइम्स हैं दे आर एस्टीरेजेस विच ब्रेक डाउन दी एस्टर्स प्रेजेंट इन राइप फ्रूट्स